first and 10 camp tour now. The Raiders of Appomattox have won five titles in six seasons, but that is not nearly the heart of this story. 10 Sports' Brooke Leonard explains. He's supposed to be coaching film session. But he out here painting lines, paying for his team. It's small acts like these that show why Doug Smith is one of the most loved people in Appomattox County. Yeah, yeah. A walking example of servant leadership, painting lines on his practice field in between his players' drills. But Smith is just happy to return to the field after being sidelined by cancer. Been like I thought, been uh, overwhelming still. Uh, I've got days where I'm carrying bags and kids want to carry bags. I'm saying, no, let me do it. I want to do it because it just feels so good. Loaded with talent and motivated by the absence of their coach, the Raiders went on to win the Class 2 state championship last spring and are prepared to make the same run with Smith. I'm definitely excited. I think having Coach Smith back is a big motivator. You know, I want him to see us do it this year. I think that's a big thing this year. It's just all one team. Coach Smith is going to get us back. It's not just all athletes. It's couple athletes and come people that's freshmen coming on varsity, sophomores coming on varsity. And this fall, togetherness has a new meaning for Smith. I, I'm just talking to the kids and all of a sudden I start getting choked up and it's just because it's it's the overwhelming feeling that uh, we're actually back out here and we're doing this and I can't believe it. This is just unbelievable because I didn't know what was going to happen last year. There is power in one community. There's power in one Lord for sure, but there's power in one community and power of all of us coming together for each other. In Appomattox, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports. Thank you, Brooke. For more on the continuing inspirational story, that is the power of one. First and 10 kicks off Friday night at 11:10. Eric Johnson is live at our Game of the Week. Patrick Henry at Brookville, which should be a titanic collision Friday evening.